this is day seven of Art with Addison and today we will be making cardboard bloom bracelets like these. For today's craft, you will need either some yarn or embroidery thread. This one was made with yarn, um, a pencil, a ruler, some scissors, some cardboard, and a cup. First, I'm gonna show you how to make the cardboard loom like this one. So you're gonna get your piece of cardboard and get your cup, and then you're gonna trace around the edge of your cup with pencil. And then you wanna cut the circle out. it out you're going to find the center with your ruler and make a little dot and then you're gonna make an X on your circle like this and then in between this X you're gonna make another one like this so it should look kind of like pie if the cardboard is too hard for you to cut, ask an adult for help. Once you have all eight slices drawn, you're gonna make some slits on the lines that you've drawn, like this. And the slices don't need to be equal, just get them as close as you can. So you should have eight slits like this. You will need to make a hole in the center of your loom right here. So you can use scissors or you can use a skewer, but I'm gonna use a meat thermometer. And this is best to do on the carpet so you don't poke your hand. Like this. Next, you're gonna get seven pieces of embroidery thread or yarn about 18 inches long, any color that you want. Then you're gonna gather the ends up like this and you wanna tie a double knot. So you're gonna go around your fingers and then pull this side through the loop that you've made. And then do that. You can do it one more time. Now you're gonna feed your seven strings of thread through the hole that you've made in your disc. And you wanna twist them so then it's a little smaller so it's easier to feed through the hole. And then you're gonna push it through and grab it from the other side. And then pull it through. You want your knot to be on this side of the loom and then you're gonna flip it over and have your strings on this side. Then you're going to take one of your strands and put it in the slit. And you want to go around your loom until all of them are in their own slit. Like this. Now you should have an empty one at the bottom and you're gonna hold it right here. Then you're gonna count three to the left from your empty one. One, two, three. Pick this one up and move it to the empty spot. Then you're gonna turn your loom and hold it again at the empty spot so it's at the bottom. Count one, two, three. Pick it up and move it to the empty spot. And you're gonna keep repeating this and then you will see your bracelet start to form on this side 
and you're gonna wanna pull it down every five or six uh, string movements. Bracelet is the length that you want it. You're gonna take it off the loom and you want to carefully untie the end that you knotted right here. knot is untied you're going to take the two ends of the bracelets and tie them in a double knot. Once your bracelet is tied you can trim the edges. <laughs> 